course you believe the gods are watching me. Calm down, dear. Here we go. yourself. I'll give them that. Is that a pelvis? One step at a time. Interesting times. With haste. Oh, I've had a lifetime's fill of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. To work together. Strangely enough, I believe him. He's too self-important to be anything but sincere. But even if we unite to command the brain, it's not as if we can leave the city under Bane's boot heel once it's done. We'd be back to the same old battle. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash talk of. It would be irritatingly true to form, would it not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it?
It seems that events at Dentholens have overtaken us. My contact there just sent word. The Harpers have been fractured, infiltrated by doppelgangers. Perhaps we might have done something to help, or just fallen into the trap along with them. Oh, I only have myself to blame. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the Time of Troubles, who saved the city more than once. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection. Indoctrination. Eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? <laughs> perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. the gods. I should have known you'd make it to the city all right. But you never know. I'm shocked by my good fortune, quite honestly. Rent is fair, and the setup is just what I need to start making a living again. Without you, I'd be dead in a ditch twice over. Instead, I have my own smithy in the city. At least, until the Absolute's army rose us down. But hey, anything could happen in the meantime. Optimism, right? Of course. 
wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. That mate. See the look of those. Welcome to the Counting House. I'm Head Clerk Mead, honey. How may the Fellowship of Financiers serve you? A relaxed tone and easy smile, but the halfling's shifting gaze gives it away. Something has him rattled. Will this one start breaking bones like the stone? Hins horned feet. I should have been a baker. The who? The what? 
All right, fine. A rather large and heavily armed fellow has taken Headbanker Glitterbeard below. He used that name. He's an unusual sort of customer, but the Headbanker said he'd handle it, so it's fine. I'm sure we're just fine. That would be most unusual, but then so is our visitor. <laughs> that he is, but don't worry, we can handle him. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. <sighs> I've got going. I can't hold us only from here. Vault pass? Right, which is just... Seems simple enough. Just need to see a vault pass, please. Books in order. Blessed day to you. your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. That little mouthful will barely slow it down. But the stories... Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Here has that power eye. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. One thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort. In your final moments! Ha! <laughs> Meet Minsk! He still seems very much himself to me. You will listen to me. Enough play, Stone Lord. What in the howling hells? Oh. 
Nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Slarning shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists, then find out where they are nesting.
With haste.
Open up. Light on my feet. Just breathe. Breathe. And switch bloody jobs. You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that Mimic could swallow a bloody owlbear. Wait. You're no Guild Sworn. Who are you? Gratitude of the gold variety, I suppose you mean. Good luck with that. The Stone Lord just cleared our vaults. And now he has enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? You think anyone told me? Ninefinger sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate. Lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name, or the absolutes? Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth! <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. Crone? Uh, look, I just mean to say, we both want him caught. If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it. Try all of it. Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. I mean, not like we'd lead him into the private vaults. But still, Lord Baldurian's waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin? Oh, doesn't bear thinking about. Compassion for your fellow folk? Or maybe just good sense? That much money only paints a target on your back. In our hands, it keeps the city ticking over. Stock in merchant stalls. Food in hungry bellies. Retrieve the coin. And I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. Don't waste a step. I wish I had a bag of holding. That mud's the same filth as we saw in the sewers. Anything of use?
give it a shot. Just breathe. Breathe. And switch the bloody jobs. Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Vareki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. Ha! I believe you may believe that. The Absolute takes people, twists them. Sarin, Bereki, and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here, you cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness. Or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> she swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. 
This is Sarin's final resting place and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. And it tastes great. Let's be on my way. Nah, don't know how to swim. We do what we must.
these days. These boots have seen everything. everything. Always nice to be wanted. Someday I will sit down. I mean it. Sylvano softened my steps.
sought a fight, and now you have one. I'm ready. I'm ready.
mistake. Yeah. 
look further, ease my way. Darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Cute. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Lithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The mind flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira, you killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. <laughs> Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Then you have two, and as many more as I can rip from enemy shoulders. But I have more than Minsk alone to offer. He is... Uh, he is... Uh, where is he?
My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Minz to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you. No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish, to camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings.
seems to be in shape. I felt horrible about that one. She can wait to show off the scar to her faces. Curse to put my hands on everything. Just be quick. What's next? Let's see what we have here. What to do? Have to keep going. For me, or in the red approaches, she sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. You'd scuttle away so easily. To think I saw courage in you. Look at it, crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little pet. Hmm. 
<laughs> Gortash, the little lord of darkness. <laughs> I know him well. Yes, yes, and he knows me. Knows how my blades sculpt and carve this city. I could peel a fine pelt from the mud I caught sniffing at your heels. Drag skin from flesh, from bone. <laughs> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new, sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. No, no, I am Bor's chosen. He shows me glorious visions. Your flesh cleaved, your joints popped and broken. An altar slick with your sacrifice. But the dream, it flickers. I cannot focus on it. It is not yet complete. You must be made perfect. You must be sharpened. You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue, hmm? You heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Cortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. We slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Allies? <laughs> Oh, no. We had a balance. The Chosen Three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You. Gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. Need? No, no, no. I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone I do not need. 
I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dog. There is time for you yet. Time to save. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. The penitent looks at you silently. Expectantly, there is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. blinks, you think. You are dismissed. Catch a break. Was his friend. Some 
On your guard! Who knows how long that slipskin serpent was hiding in our camp? She might have been your pillow. Or Minsk's pillow. Or Jahira's pillow. I do not understand your concern. Perhaps, once again, Minsk is missing something? Yes, Oren has taken the rude Git Yankee. But she is our comrade. And so we are going to save her. Simple enough, no? So let us be about it! <laughs> 